There are five bank accounts that you need in your business. And in this video, I'm gonna break down what those five accounts are. But first, I think you should know like, why would you ever want five business accounts? Like, why would you need that? Well, one, as a business owner, you gotta be able to manage your cash flow. I will never forget, I was like three years into business and I had made more money than I ever had, ever especially coming from a paid salary job. And year number three, I'm into it. I like made more money than I ever had. And I looked at my profit and loss statement. And guess what my profit margin was? It was 1%. I thought I had made this much money, but no, I had made like, this much money and I was so overwhelmed because I had like all these taxes to pay. I had like, I was like, freaking out and I reached out to a mentor of mine and he's like, dude, you need to put this system into your business and it just happened to be the profit first business. And so I wanna explain to you, after I implemented this process, the next year, I went from a 1% profit margin to a 20% profit margin and have been able to like automate a lot of the cash flow that's coming in the business. So I want to break that down. And really all this comes from the book Profit First. What I love about this book is if you think about like a lot of business owners have it backwards. They think that the formula for profit is you have your sales minus your expenses and that equals your profit. Well, by following profit first, you have sales minus your profit. So take that out first, and then you're left with expenses. So imagine with all the cash flow that's coming into your business, automatically creating that profit and being able to pay your payroll and employees. Imagine having that type of system set up so that it's, it's consistently running. You're consistently able to make your, your payments automatically. You don't even have to think about it. Right? So that this is how you set the system up. The first account you need is your income, a basic checking account, right? This is your income account. And it's the first bank account you have and all of your money flows into this checking account. Okay, 100% of it. Okay, once all this money comes into this account, guess what? You have it flow to four other accounts. And the first one being your profit account. And let's just say that you wanna have a 20% profit margin. Great. Well, if you have 100,000 of income coming in for that month, draw out 20% for your profit bucket or whatever number that is, right? The second account you need is a payroll account. So this is how you pay yourself and your team. It all goes into a payroll account, all right? And let's say maybe 50% of your payroll gets put into there, okay? So that flows to your profit, it flows to your payroll, and then you have your operations. Like well, this is what it takes to uh, operate your business. All your expenses, uh, your, your rent, whatever that is, like operationally, this is all the money that's allocated towards that. And then fifth is a tax account, right? Like making sure that you are preactively saving money for taxes, that it's going inside an account so that you're not surprised by any taxes, you're paying that quarterly uh, and implement that. In fact, I would maybe add a bonus one, a sixth one, and we would call this like a war chest or a savings account. And that way of your profit, you can start allocating like a war chest of funds that get saved up year over year so that as you build, as your business grows, um, if there's a rainy day or a rainy year that happens or you have something uh, drastic that happens, you're able to maintain the company and use it from the war chest fund. So honestly, it's by implementing these five, these business accounts that has helped me grow a business that's lasted for 10 years. We have had some great years of good profit margins and guess what? We've had some hard years of like really small, tiny profit margins where hardly made any money, but I've had a system that's been able to help me grow. Um, one thing that's been super valuable with Profit First is if you look inside, they have this graph, right? And depending on how big your company is, like how much revenue it's generating, it allocates certain percentages of what it should be. So if you're generating around a million dollars in revenue, it's saying maybe allocate 10% for profit 10% for owner's pay, 15% for taxes, and 65 for operating expenses, um, you know, payroll. So again, you can use this graph and use those principles in the book to implement in your business, and it will just drastically reduce the amount of stress that you have. 
it automates your finances and cash flow and it allows you like the financial freedom to have a fulfilling life. So implement, buy the book. If you haven't already, check it out, implement it and enjoy the, uh, enjoy having an automated financial plan for your business. I'm curious though, have you read the book Profit First? Have you implemented it? If so, would love to know what was your biggest takeaway from the book. I would love to hear what's helped you the most in the comments. I wanna read them and respond. So let's have that conversation there. And if this video has been helpful for you, I know the next video will be even more helpful because I go through 10 lessons I've learned in 10 years of business and this happened to be one of them. So go find out what the other nine were in the next video.